Hello guys, and um, welcome back to another video. This time, it's something kind of different. Um, I'm playing uh, Terraria, as you can see, and uh, this is completely separate from the uh, Terraria multiplayer ser series. And there's actually some special announcements that I have in this video, so please wait uh, till the end or wherever at any point I decide to announce what I had to say. Um, as you can see, I'm th you know at the beginning of a dungeon, and I'm throwing down a bunch of spiky balls. In this video, originally, I was um, just going to fight Skeletron. I'd never fought him before. I'd played Terraria extensively and done everything but fight Skeletron. This is a completely different character. I started about a week ago, and right now I'm explaining my technique I'd come up with. I'm showing that I'm using uh, Molten Armor with these, you know, the Banner Generation, Aglet, Menacing Cloud, all that stuff. And then I'm using, I've got the Flame Ring, uh, fire great sword, space gun, uh, all that, and also what I'm going to use is I'm going to be using an iron skin potion. Now this is what I use a lot of times in boss fights because it raises your defense by eight, which is really useful. So if any time you're having difficulties um, with um, with a boss, just you know chug an iron skin potion and your luck will turn around. Trust me. Um, but Basically, I'm showing that's what I'm going to be doing to fight Skeletron, and I'm throwing down these spiky balls. Also, you get them from the go go Goblin Army. So this is my fight of Skeletron. I'm going to fight him in just a minute, and you're going to see how well this goes for me. Um, also, you might want to try using the Thorns Potion if you're having also uh, having trouble with the boss. So I'm, I'm about to take it, about to fight Skeletron, and it happens so fast it like scares me. I didn't know it happened like instantly. Um, Skeletron just like pops out, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, give me a sec. I decided to, I was a little extra cautious. Let's just say this battle went pretty well. But, um, <laughs> it just instantly pops out there, as you can see. Um, hold on a second. Um, so I'm fighting Skeletron here. Um, and I'm using my Fire Great Sword. It's, um, uh, it's weird doing a post commentary. I don't know, I'm used to doing live com. But as you can see, we're taking him down because the uh, molten armor, I know it looks like I'm wearing gold, but it's, uh, just, I like the way gold armor looks, and everyone, I've seen Molten a million times, so I wanted something different. Um, so, we take him down pretty, you know, pretty fast, especially with my Fire Great Sword, and that, that Flame Ring is actually so good that it's like almost as powerful as my, it's like one damage lower than my Fire Great Sword with the armor. It's crazy. Um, it's even better than the Fire Great Sword without. Um, Anyway, I love Boomerang. So basically, this is my announcement. I was going to be saying that soon, the reason I'm showing... Well, there's no reason related to this video. I just... I, I'd never fought Skeletron before. I thought I'd share it with you all. Um, but, uh, recently, I am ending the Terraria multiplayer series that we currently have going with Nathan. Um, there's a reason for that. I, get, I got really distracted, and I thought that a million... You know, there's been a million Terraria playthroughs. But something kind of different and new is that uh, we're going to be doing... Um, we're going to be starting uh, a Terraria, it's going to be called Terraria Hard Mode, the quest for Excalibur. And it's going to be with me, Nathan, and, um, well, I don't want to say his name, we're not sure if he's going to be able to do it yet, but we'll find someone else, um, there's going to be a third person, and we're going to play through Terraria Hard Mode. The first video will be us fighting the Wall of Flesh, so it'll sort of be like, uh, I have an idea on how I want to fight him. Um, and I'm sure we can kill the wall of flesh, I'm not worried, with three people. I mean, I think I could even do it with one, with my technique. Um, anyway, not never fought I have flesh before, and I've never been to hard mode, never done any of this stuff, so we're doing it together. And as you can see, I just take him out with this space gun here. Space gun kicks ass against, uh, uh, Skeletron. He just absolutely fucking murders him. Um, but, um... Basically, this series, uh, oh, hold on for a second. Uh, this series is, um, we're, uh, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words right now, sorry. We're gonna be playing through Terraria Hard Mode, and we're gonna start out with a pre built house, because the point is not building the house. We're gonna have all the NPCs and everything figured out, and we're gonna fight the Wall of Flesh over the first episode, and then boom, Hard Mode. And obviously it's called the quest for Excalibur, so all three of us are going to be looking for Excalibur. And also, to sort of give it like an RPG feel, as you can see I just beat Skeletron, so I've never set foot in a dungeon before without getting absolutely raped by the Dungeon Guardian. Um, I didn't know there was a Dungeon Guardian the first time, and I just waltzed in there like, Ugh, had my easy button out, that was easy, and then this <laughs> Dungeon Guardian. But when I first played Terraria, it was not where there was one Dungeon Guardian, it was where there was like a ton of them. And so, they all just came in and raped me. Anyway, so this is me exploring the dungeon. Um, 
but basically one of us is going to be um, in hard mode if you're not already familiar uh, the three arm the four armor sorry it's um, what is it one of them is adamantite oh there's cobalt adamantite I don't remember what the other one is and they all make the uh, the fabled hollow or whatever the last armor is but each one depending on which uh, helmet you choose decides whether the um, the set bonus is for mana um, range attacks or uh, melee so one of us is gonna be mana one of us is gonna be melee and one of us is gonna be range so then we'll explore all the different weapons and we won't just um, obviously one of us will be more powerful once we get Excalibur but Excalibur is going to be the very last thing we do in the game the last thing and I, I mean that like last episode you know we're gonna get everything so don't worry about that don't worry about it but um as you see i'm exploring the dungeon i'm like oh, look at this look at that it's a light bulb what do you know i'm being such a noob but anyway i would like to know um how you guys feel about the series is this something you'd like to um see is this something you're interested in uh let me know um, I'm always interested in your guys' comments, but especially on this, um, if, if you are interested in seeing this, um, please let me know. I still think we're going to do it anyway, but you know what? I'm still looking for your opinion. Maybe not. If you convince me why you don't want to see this series. Uh, hold on a sec. There we go. Um, yeah. So that's basically what's going on here. Um, I'm just noobing my way out of the dungeon. Um... Yeah, I'm just getting out of the dungeon right now. Um, so basically, I'm kind of running out of things to say. That's what I wanted to talk about. Also, I wanted to say thank you guys for all the support. And I don't even ask for likes, but you guys leave them anyway. Um, views don't mean anything to me. I'm very critical of myself. I always think, no one's watching my videos. Is anyone watching my videos? And um, if you're a new subscriber, I always like you to comment because... Not because... Like, I'm looking to get a lot of comments on my videos to get it to the top of the list. Huh? I could be super cool YouTube guy like C-Nanners. That's not why. It's because I, if you're a new subscriber, I see your comment, I look at your username, and I say, oh, this is this person. And that's what, I'm a very small channel, to say the least. Um, I'm not saying I want to be a small channel, but you know what, to me, it's not really about how, like, having a million people watch my videos. As long as there's a few people out there who are enjoying it, then it's worth it for me. And when I see your comment, I go, oh, there's this person. Um, because just having a number of subscribers is sort of like nameless. Like, I don't get to know you guys. I don't get to talk to you guys. Um, so if you leave a comment, ask me a question, give me a suggestion, um, let me know. Usually, I don't want spoilers in games, so don't post spoilers unless I ask for them. Or if it's like a tip or something that's not really like story spoiling, go, go ahead, but... No spoilers, but anything else, basically, uh, even constructive criticism, I'm always looking for that in my videos, uh, always, uh, hold on a second, yeah, always looking for constructive criticism on my videos, um, you can leave dislike, you can even leave a dislike, but you have, you leave a dislike, you have to say why, why the video, something was wrong with it enough to leave a dislike, because I don't want you guys to dislike my videos, so, I mean, like, literally not enjoy my videos, so I want to know what I did wrong. So, let me know. If you just... I've had some comments before. Usually I ignore them, but someone posted one day, they were like, Bro, you suck at this game. And I usually ignore comments like that. But that time I had a bad day, and I just kind of wailed on that guy. So that's not something I'm proud of. But, anyway, guys. Um... Just keep on posting in the comments. If you leave a like, that's fantastic. I definitely appreciate it. But I love comments even more than likes. I like to hear what you guys have to say. But anyway, this video is coming to an end. So I want you guys to tell me what you think of this series idea. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.